My name is Tyler. I work at uh, Arcade Legacy in Cincinnati Mall, Cincinnati, Ohio. I've been working here for six and a half years. The owner is a friend of mine. I came like to help him out and set it up and then uh, he just told me I had the job if I wanted it and I was like, nah. Then he begged and begged and I was like, sure. A slow day could be about like 20 people and a busy day could be like 500. I know, it's a very big difference. Getting games for a lot of kids, if there are kids in the arcade, all they want to do is play console games, so I'm pretty much spending most of my time appeasing their rapid minds and getting them a game every like five seconds. Otherwise, I would just be buying games or stocking the shelves, pricing stuff. <laughs> Working in the arcade is like different from working in the mall. If I was a security guard, I'd probably just, like lose my mind half the time. But I get to be around like action and excitement for the most part. The mall was already pretty much going down when we were brought in. Because we were brought in as like a reclamation project. We were going to be like the new arcade. And they were going to bring in like entertainment stuff and fun like Forest Fair used to be. And they were even renaming it Forest Fair Village to bring back that old flair. Oishi Japan and Gold Star were the last two. And then Kirsten Puska's uh, Brain Freeze, which is still like right behind us. That was one of the last ones as well. I mean, I don't think it happens as much anymore, but like there used to be storefronts that kids could just get into. Break into like storefronts, they had homeless people sleeping in like corridors, so they gotta, yeah, they had to start closing all the doors at hours. They made us, like, cut back on our hours so that riffraff wouldn't run through. I can be on the phone with them for, like, an hour and a half and they still can't find it, but I feel like they're not walking when they're talking to me. They're just like, where are you in the mall? And I'll be like, oh, first floor towards the food court. And they'll be like, well, I'm at Kohl's. I'm like, yeah, that's not us. Forest Fair was awesome, it had everything, but Cincinnati Mills was like open for like three years before it started declining already. I don't know if it's just a bad spot, but then yeah, there weren't, there wasn't much when we got here, and there's a lot less now, but yeah, it just kept dying, so we've always been fine though. <laughs>